Thanks for joining us on today's segment of Frequently Asked Questions. I'm Kyle Barr with ASK Tower Supply, and today's question is, what's the difference between T-rated and G-rated life safety ropes? The nomenclature T-rated and G-rated actually comes from the NFPA's 1983 standard on life safety rope and equipment. Now, this is not actually a user standard. It was intended for manufacturers and testing labs, but we think it's still good for the end users and the, uh, the decision makers of your team to have a basic understanding of what's in the standard. Now, if you're already a rope nerd, uh, you probably have a pretty solid understanding of this document already, so feel free to keep on scrolling or you can stick around, but this is just a small glimpse into a small portion of the standard that actually covers quite a bit of equipment. We've got harnesses, we've got fire escape rope, we've got uh, webbing, uh, even rescue litters. Now, the T rating and the G rating does apply to some of those other pieces of equipment, but today we're just gonna be talking about life safety ropes. So, T rated really means technical use, formerly called light use in a previous version of the standard, and G rated really means general use. So, both the general use and technical use life safety ropes will likely be either static or low stretch ropes. Uh, so what that means is they have at most 10% elongation when the rope is loaded to 10% of its minimum breaking strength. Now for both technical use and general use ropes, uh, the manufacturer is required to print the elongation properties on the product label at the three working loads of 300 pounds, 600 pounds, and 1,000 pounds force. Technical use ropes must have a diameter between 9.5 and 12.5 millimeters. The general use ropes must fall between 11 and 16 millimeters. Technical use ropes must have at least a 20 kilonewton minimum breaking strength, that's just under about 4,500 pounds force, and the general use must have at least 40 kilonewtons minimum breaking strength. That's just under 9,000 pounds force. Now, keep in mind, these are just minimum requirements. So obviously you could have a technical use rope with say a 25 or a 30 or even a 35 kilonewton minimum breaking strength. So yes, in a nutshell, the technical use ropes are lighter in weight uh, and typically a little uh, weaker than the general use ropes. Um, and the general use ropes are typically stronger and a little bit heavier duty. Now, there are 11 mil ropes out there that carry that general use rating. Uh, now, they're, they're usually gonna have like newer materials in them or have a new rope construction, uh, but they do exist. And with those ropes, you really get the best of both worlds. You get a nice lightweight 11 mil rope that still carries at least that 40 kilonewton minimum breaking strength. All right, that's it for today. That was sort of our elementary school session on technical use versus general use ropes. Uh, there's obviously a lot more that goes into that 1983 standard. So if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to ASK. Also remember that these standards exist for a reason. Uh, so when you're purchasing your new rope or you're looking for a new rope, make sure you're using a reputable manufacturer and distributor like ASK Tower Supply. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next segment of Frequently Asked Questions. Stay gritty.